Chapter 2. Waging War. Harguth tossed a log onto the fire, which crackled and sparked as it caught a light. Harguth gestured to the fire. We must use whatever tools we have at our disposal, he said, his voice barely a whisper. We must be cunning and swift in our attacks if we are to succeed. Zuljin grunted and stoked the fire with a stick. Our ancestors taught us that we should never underestimate our enemies, he said. We must always be prepared for any eventuality. Harguth nodded again, his eyes glinting in the firelight. We must also remember that fortune favors the bold, he said. We must take risks if we are to gain the upper hand in this war. It is true, Zuljin stated solemnly and tented the fire, that it takes a great deal of resources to raise an army. We must be wise with our resources and not squander them if we are to succeed. He paused and gestured with his hands as if counting something out. We must remember that even in the midst of war, the cost of raising an army of 100,000 men can reach up to a thousand ounces of silver per day. Harguth's eyes reflected the flickering light of the fire. Yes, indeed. Our ancestors have taught us that we should use our resources wisely, for they are limited. We must be mindful of the cost of waging war and use our resources carefully if we are to emerge victorious. Zuljin said, gestured with his hands as he spoke. We must take into consideration the strength of our enemies and the length of the siege if we are to be victorious. Our forces will grow weary if we are not careful, and our weapons will lose their edge. Harguth added, our forces must also be prepared for any unexpected events that may occur during battle. We must be ever vigilant and ready to adapt to any situation that arises. The two orcs sat in silence for a few moments, taking in the sounds of the night forest and the crackling of the fire. Harguth then broke the silence, saying, we must remember that even the strongest warriors can fall in battle, and so we must fight with courage and honor if we are to succeed. Harguth nodded solemnly, and poked at the fire with a stick. It is known, he said, his voice low and serious. The longer a war is waged, the more difficult it becomes to sustain it. We must be wise with our resources and use them sparingly if we are to succeed. Zuljin grunted. We must also remember that victory comes from within. Our strength lies in our courage and our will to fight, not in our weapons or numbers. He paused for a moment, before adding, we must never forget that. We must, Zuljin stated solemnly and tented the fire, we must be prepared for any eventualities that may arise. Our weapons must remain sharp and our strength must never be allowed to falter. For if we become weak or careless, our enemies will surely take advantage of us. It is true, Zuljin said, throwing a log into the fire and stirring it with a stick. Our ancestors warned us of moving too quickly in war, but also cautioned against waiting too long to act. He paused for a moment, then added, we must take care in our strategy if we are to succeed. Harguth nodded. Yes, haste can lead to foolishness, but procrastination can be just as deadly. We must weigh our options carefully before making any decisions. He leaned forward, his eyes gleaming in the firelight. Zuljin tented the fire, that we must be mindful of our resources if we are to reap any benefit from this conflict. Our ancestors taught us that a long war will not bring success, but only pain and suffering. We must remember this lesson and use it to guide our actions. Harguth gestured toward the fire with his hands. We must be wise in our strategies and choose battles that have the greatest chance of success. We must also be prepared to accept defeat if necessary, and never underestimate our enemy. It is only by understanding the dangers of war, Harguth said, gesturing with his hands, that one can properly plan for victory. Zuljin added, we must be prepared to face our enemy on any ground and use their strength against them. We must also remember that while cunning and strategy can bring us success, it is ultimately fate that decides our destiny. The two orcs watched the flames for a long moment before Zuljin spoke again. We must never forget that in order to win, we must always act with courage and conviction. We must be wise in our use of resources, Harguth said, gesturing to the fire with one hand. We cannot afford to waste our strength on needless battles or ill-prepared campaigns. Zuljin nodded, adding, our ancestors have taught us that it is wise to prepare well and expend our resources sparingly. We must be prepared to fight with what we have at our disposal, rather than waste time and energy gathering more. He paused, then added, it is also important to remember that we are not alone in this war. We must be mindful of the alliances we make and their implications. 
Zuljin said, it is wise to bring the necessary supplies with us from our own lands. But we must also remember to forage on our enemies if possible. This way, we can ensure that our army has enough food to sustain them during the battle. Harguth added, we must also be mindful of the terrain and use it to our advantage. Our ancestors have taught us to make use of the landscape and take any opportunity that presents itself. He paused and looked into the flames of the fire, his face solemn. Let us not forget the importance of strategy and careful planning if we are to succeed. Zuljin gestured with his hands to emphasize his point. We must be mindful of how our war efforts will affect the people and resources of our lands. We cannot afford to deplete our resources in pursuit of victory. He paused for a moment before continuing. We must always remember that the outcome of any battle lies in the hands of fate as well as in our own strategic planning. Harguth added, we must also be mindful of how our actions could impact those who are far away from the conflict. We must take into account the potential long-term effects of our decisions and be sure that we are not taking more than we can give back. We must take care to protect the people's resources, Zuljin said, gesturing towards the fire with his hands. Our ancestors have taught us that an army's presence can cause prices to rise and deplete the people's wealth. We must be mindful of this when we wage war. Harguth added, our strategy must also consider the morale of our troops. If their spirits are strong, they are more likely to prevail in battle. He paused for a moment, before continuing. We must also remember to guard our supplies and not let them fall into enemy hands. Our people will suffer greatly if our resources are depleted, Harguth said with a heavy heart. He gestured to the fire, his hands making swift motions in the air. We must be sure to plan wisely and not overextend ourselves or we will face ruin. Zuljin nodded gravely. It is true that war drains away the strength of a tribe. We must take care to conserve our resources and use them only when absolutely necessary. He paused for a moment before continuing. It is so, Zuljin said gravely as he stoked the fire. We must take great care in our strategy and preparations if we are to win this war. Our ancestors have taught us that success lies in the careful use of resources and strength. We must not waste what we have and be mindful of our supplies, for it may be our only advantage against those who seek to harm us. Harguth added, we can make all the plans we want, but ultimately, victory or defeat will depend on the gods. He gestured to the night sky above them, punctuating his point. The crackling of the fire and the sounds of the night forest filled the silence between them. It is said, Harguth began, gesturing to the fire with his hands, that a wise leader knows how to take advantage of their enemy's resources. A single cartload of their supplies is worth 20 from our own stores. He paused and added, we must be sure to use this knowledge to our advantage in battle. Zuljin frowned slightly as he stared into the flames. Yes, it is true that we must make use of what our enemies have in order to succeed. We must also remember that our own supplies are limited, so we must use them wisely. He grunted in approval and made a gesture with his fist, indicating his agreement with Harguth's words. Zuljin gestured with his hands. We must make sure our warriors are motivated and ready for battle. They must be well rewarded for their efforts if we are to gain any advantage from defeating the enemy. Harguth nodded, then added, we can only do our best and trust in Tempest to guide us. He paused for a moment, looking into the fire, before continuing, we must also take care to use our resources wisely, and not to waste them on unnecessary battles. The wisdom of our ancestors is clear, Harguth said, gesturing with his hands for emphasis. Those who are victorious in battle must be rewarded, and those of the enemy must be treated kindly and kept. He paused and looked into the fire, then continued, we must also remember to not only take the spoils of war, but to use them to our advantage as well. We must replace the enemy's flags with our own, and use their chariots in conjunction with ours. Zuljin nodded and gestured towards the fire. Indeed, it is wise to use the conquered foe to augment our own strength. He then paused for a moment before adding, we must also remember that victory is not guaranteed and can be taken away from us at any moment. Harguth slowly stirred the fire with a stick. We must remain vigilant and use every advantage we have to our fullest potential. Zuljin said, I, let us not waste our resources on battles that have no hope of victory. We must be strategic and use our resources wisely. Harguth frowned and added, and we must remember the old orcish proverb, a good warrior knows when to fight and when to retreat. 
we must be wise and use our power sparingly, for it is a precious commodity in times of war. He gestured towards the fire with one hand and added, let us heed this wisdom as we plan our next move. It is known, Zuljin said, gesturing to the fire with his hands. The leader of armies is the one who will determine the fate of our people. We must be wise in our decisions and use all of our resources if we are to have any hope of success. Harguth nodded, we must understand that the outcome of any battle lies with fate, but also take responsibility for our part in it. By being prepared and following the wisdom of our ancestors, we can influence the fate of our people. He paused, then added, and may Tempest grant us victory.